Coffey got the job done last week in enemy territory. Do you mm. take a lot of confidence coming to the Central Coast knowing that you're going to have a parochial crowd here mm. literally wanting blood? Yes, uh, yeah, we're a little bit accustomed to that um, in recent weeks, but um, yeah, we'll have a good contingent of our fans as well that I'm sure will make a lot of noise, so we'll have some good support, but yeah, we know we're away from home, we know we're um, at the current champion's uh, home ground. Uh, they've had a fantastic season, they've got two trophies, last year's champion, so we know um, what's facing us, a difficult task, but yeah, we, we come here with a lot of confidence as well. Just the last couple of weeks, Tony, with the, I guess the Wellington game and the City game, you guys having to really go to the, the championship rounds, does that put you in good stead for tomorrow night if it does go, go the distance? Yeah, I believe we're here because we um, we've earned the right to to get here. So um, you know, and we know also tomorrow uh, we'll have to earn the right to win it. So um, uh, yeah, we we're obviously well prepared for that, and we're open to any situation in in getting our hands on that trophy, whether that's in 90, 120 penalties. Um, you know, we have to be prepared for a, for a real battle uh, against a very good team. Well, the Mariners have obviously got so much momentum; they've got trophies in the bank already, 70% of the crowd, they're pretty confident. How do you overcome that on, on the day? Uh, yeah, look, everything you said there about them being confident and having the crowd, well, that's we expect that with uh, the success that they've had uh, in the last 12 months. Um, but, you know, we're, we're very confident and in how we're playing and, and what we're achieving this year. And, um, you know, final should be difficult, right? It should be, should be hard. And, uh, if you want to win a title, um, it's supposed to be difficult and you're supposed to earn it. And we've earned the right to be here, as Central Coast has. Um, so the two two top teams are uh, in the final. A lot of people have got your team as kind of draw specialists mm -hmm. this season. Are they looking at it wrong? Or do you look at it as your hard to beat, right? Uh, I'm not looking at that at all. That's you know, really no interest to us, um, how we're viewed, whether we're a draw specialist or, or hard to beat. Um, we're a very good team, that's what we are. Tony, what's your thinking with Zenity? Obviously, had the suspension, does he come straight back in? Does he, do you think of him as an impact sub? Like, where do you? He's in the squad. He's definitely in the squad, so he's fit and healthy. That's uh, the priority. Um, he's had to cool his heels a bit um, the last few weeks, and I'm sure he's been uh, uh, very supportive, uh, which I know he has of the staff, and I know he has certainly of the, of the playing group in... Uh, trying to get us to this point so he can get another opportunity. Uh, he only played 30 odd minutes against Melbourne City, so he's had a, almost three weeks to um, to wait and watch. And um, you know he's very happy. He has a great personality, bubbly personality, regardless. And uh, having him around the group this week, knowing that uh, he's available, uh, I think is a, is a lift for everyone. The team fortune is very different for you from where you were last year to where you are mm. this year. It's a little bit like the Mariners. They've come from sort of bottom to yeah. top, no expectations really. It was who could have thought they'd win 6-1 last year. Is that kind of the attitude you take into this? You've got nothing to lose. Um, no, no, not at uh, Melbourne Victory you can't think that way. <laughs> um, two years ago we won a cup and finished second. And last year, uh, in terms of results, for, for many reasons, um, it wasn't a good year for us. And uh, where we are now is where Melbourne Victory is expected to be. They're expected to be challenging for titles, um, competing uh, every year at the very top. Um, so we, we are here because we, we've earned the right. We deserve to be here at this stage. Um, and uh, at Melbourne Victory, this is the least that's expected. What do you think of the game being in Gosford and, and being based in, I think, Wyong or wherever you are? How is that? I mean, it could have been in Sydney if it was last year. Yeah, that's changed. Obviously, last year the, the league decided to um, decide quite early where the final will be. This year it's gone to Central Coast, and um, if that's their reward for finishing first, well, they deserve that. So I think the, um, everyone's kind of very focused on the Mariners. Fairy tale, mm. the fact you know, you appreciate the challenge of winning an mm -hmm. Asian trophy and they've got a chance to do a treble. But is there not a bit of romance about your team's journey from, from last year? The guys, you know, think about Daniel, how he's performed this year, Geordie. Um, do you see a bit of there's a romantic factor with you guys? 
Um, that comes down to perception as well. Depends uh, which uh, how you perceive their fairy tale, which uh, is certainly possible. Um, we we feel that you know we can create our own history uh, with a win tomorrow, and uh, that's our you know focus. Um, you know we know we have to do it here, but we've accepted all of that, um, and there's a chance for us to hold up a trophy you know, amongst a wonderful group of players, great people. Great staff, great club. Um, you know, we we don't believe that. Um, you know, you deserve to just win a title. We believe we'll have to earn it, and we're we're comfortable having to do that. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.